uh, inversion allowed. Okay, well, I'm, I'm actually not quite ready to do that. I need to get my graduate cylinder up to 50 milliliters without going over. Remember, uh, I want it to be at 50.0 milliliters, but if I go over, I can't take any out because, of course, I'll be taking out some of my salt. So I want to look as I'm putting water in because there's salt in there and I'm putting in pure water and there's a density difference. Almost make sure I'm doing the last couple of drops. There. Okay, I've got salt. My sodium chloride is my solute. My water is my solvent. Together I have 50 milliliters. Right, let me put my distilled water down here to the side. And now I have to mix well, and it is okay to invert it. That's because this is all the same solution if I spill it up on the sides or get some on the sides, as long as I don't lose any, or even if I do lose some in the inversion process, or if I lose a small amount, say, on when I cover it, then it will still have the same concentration as the other stuff that I've got in there. So I've got some possibilities here. I could put on a glove and then put that over this. I have just a plastic bag from a package that I got. I could put that over this as well. I've got some plastic wrap, and I think I'm going to try the plastic wrap, actually. Take some plastic wrap, tear off a piece. A uh, plastic bag would work as well. I also considered using uh, my uh, kitchen gloves that I use to wash dishes. Uh, I am chief bottle washer at my house. There you go. All right, so, but maybe you can try this as well. All you need to do is take the plastic, put it over the top, and you're going to be looking for your swirlies. I'm going to pull it down a little bit and then keep my hand over it. It is true this is a different process than if you're doing it in an actual chemistry lab. In an actual chemistry lab, you would be using a volumetric flask to get the volume that you needed, and then you'd put either a ground glass stopper or a rubber stopper or some sort of stopper in this to keep the solution. But other than that, you'd still hold your hand over it. You'd still invert it. You'd still make sure that the solution didn't come out. And you keep doing this uh, probably, definitely, until you stop seeing the swirlies. And I'm going to do it 20 times just to make sure. And I'm holding this carefully so that none of the water comes out. This is a much faster way to mix. If you didn't have any of these materials, you could still do the swirling without inversion. So it would take a long, long time, and because your graduated cylinder is so full, it would be easy to spill. I've sort of lost track of how many times I've done this. Don't see any swirlies anymore. Let's call that good enough. I kind of almost broke off the bottom of my... Right, cylinder again. Then you will note that there's a tiny bit of solution possibly on the plastic, but it's the same concentration as the stuff that you have in here. And we are well mixed. 